So today I'm going to share a little bit my motor settings uh, with Fanalab on iRacing, Air Factor 2 and F1 2020. Uh, oh, hello Petrus. The cats just uh, come by. I would like to show you the, the steering wheel, the Porsche steering wheel. If I, um, yeah, that is, if I can give you one advice, it's it's to go for the the podium paddles. Um, they feel amazing. Um, you've got the clutch here, you've got the gear lever here, and you've got those little uh, one, cheeky one here, that are super useful to um, set up the brake balance when you're driving. And then when you come to a corner, you can easily uh, change it. So really, one of my advice would, would be to go for the, the podium paddles. They're a big step in, in performance and in, in touch and so on. Yeah. And you've got all the switches that you can change through the lap, uh, the beamers, um, everything you need, uh, which is great, with with the lights and, uh, and and the dashboard telling you which gear you're using. So that is a that is a nice piece of engineering as well as the Formula One steering wheel. If you're more like a, a single seater type of guy, but really go for the the paddles. There we are. If we go into the different uh, settings, you can you can choose on on Fanalab. Lab. You can see here. So uh, number one is my R racing setup. Um, so it give you a little bit of time to check what's what is it, uh, the steering angle, the force feedback that you can you can adjust through the game, uh, the linearity of the steering wheel, the damper, the friction of the the steering wheel. Um, then the, the bottom part is I guess a little bit less important, but really the key here is is, is the first part. So number one is I racing for me. Number two. This is Formula One 2020 for me. So you can see already the, the steering angle is very different. I went from 900 degrees to 360 degrees and the force feedback as well is, is quite different. Um, linearity off, a little bit of natural damper and then quite, uh, quite a very uh, smooth or zero natural friction, natural inertia, a little bit of FFP interpolation and um, there is a slight in-game uh, setup to be made that I will um, share with you uh, also here um, just to so we're on the same page um, F1 2020 is not a game I play a lot but it's a game that is very fun if you like Formula One and quite a touch easier than our racing I would say to go racing and number three here uh, F factor 2 so you see here the steering angle is on automatic the force feedback back to 45% linearity on a little bit more damper friction in the inertia as well a little bit up and then the the bottom part as as always quite hundred percent and off. Um, so really, the last few uh, the, the the setup is very similar between the different uh, games. Um, but um, yeah, here I would say that uh, that those are the three settings. So I went I went through quite fast, uh, but you can always pause the video and copy the settings and um, give me a feedback. You know, I'll be very happy to hear your feedback. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe I should have mentioned that I'm using the Podium DD2 uh, from Fanatec. I believe the DD1, you can you can set up pretty much the same things. Um, so I would recommend to try those those three settings. And, uh, hope it will help you to go faster and um, go on the same race.